Wow, after working so hard on the repairs, we don't even have any form of communication with our boss. How is that possible? Uh, hmm. Mr. Drippy, can you go and fetch Broadside? Maybe he found some form of communication like a camera or something in the wreckage? Oh, uh, right away, Roscoe. I just hope we can communicate with them soon. We gotta tell them that we finished already. I wanna get out of here and get back to Thunder Hollow ASAP. Uh, we will, Miss Fitter, we will. Just give us some time. Oh, uh, broadside, broadside, where could you ever be? Oh, wait, you're over there! Hey, broadside, buddy, I already found you. Come over here. Hey, I'm not broadside, I'm Fishtail. And I'm Bill, but if you're trying to look for a broadside, there he is. Huh? Who called my name? Oh, hey, Mr. Drippy. How's it going, man? Yeesh, you better get on talking right there, you two. Hey, Mr. Drippy, how's it going? Oh, good, good. Uh, actually, Miss Fritter had one teeny tiny task for you. Ugh, where are they? It's been over an hour. Yeah, come think of it. It shouldn't have taken them that long. Hey, guys, I'm back. Did you guys miss me? No! Where's Broadside? Oh, uh, well, I did find him, and he told me that he found... Two uh, cameras when we were first right in this place. And is he gonna find them right now? Yep, he's on his way with the both of them. Yeah! Yeah! Hey, watch, he almost hit me! Yeah, and guess who's back with the camera? There you go, guys. Alright, so I guess my services won't be needed here, so uh, take care, Miss Fitter. Take care, Roscoe. Alright, bye, Broadside! Thank you so much, we've been waiting forever! Alright, Miss Fitter, if you can just move aside for a bit. Oh, uh, yeah, sure! All right, let me just configure these guys real quick. Move aside, Mr. Drippy. All right. Woohoo! All right, we're finally going to get back to Thunder Hollow. Yeah, and finally we're going to get paid, and we can make some more reparations for Thunder Hollow as well, right? Uh, yep. Everything's going just as planned. <laughs> I'm almost out of gas. My headlights keep flickering on and off, and I, I don't know. I, I don't know if I can get out of this cave. I'm just trapped. I only meant to stay here for a little while, but now I'm just trapped in this cave. The voters are counting on me. I have to still make a team, since that's what won the votes. I have to get out of here now. Alright, guys. It's go time. It's about time. We've sure been waiting a while, but our moment is here. Say, is it just me, or am I hearing some voices out there? They kind of sound familiar, too. What? Oh, it's been a while, Lightning. Yeah, uh, how have you been? We saw what happened at the Piston Cup, and we also saw all the racers ran away, all in fear of being destroyed. But then we saw your distress signal to the viewers, and we thought it'd be nice for us to come out and finally do something right. So we came out to find you in this cave and help you get out. <sighs> I, I can't believe it. Carl, Speedy... Bruce, Dino, Bobby, well, not my Bobby, but Marcus, Rev, you, you all came. Yes, and there was actually one person missing. Yeah, plane lock, synergy stock car. Oh, him. Oh, that sucks. Don't worry, he doesn't have anything against you. Yeah, he's just really, really scared of the cave, and he didn't want to get lost like you did. All right, I guess that's fine. But I thank you all so much. I'm so sorry you guys weren't in the Clash for the Piston Cup. Hey McQueen, it's not your fault. Don't worry about it. It was just that we weren't there at the time that it was starting. And it was too late by the time we know about it. Yeah, it's none of your fault. Yeah, we're always with you McQueen. You had so much dedication to the Piston Cup that we thought it'd be wrong to not save you. Yeah, McQueen, you're our pal. McQueen, you're the best. Huh. Thanks guys, thank you all so much. But now that you guys are in here, you guys know a way out? We came in here one way, we're getting out that same way. Woohoo! Alright! So finally, we're getting out of here. Huh. Thanks, Bobby. No problem, McQueen. And listen, Mater, Sally, and Luigi and Guido are on their way. They say hi. Thanks, man. Well, what are we waiting here for? Let's get out of here, guys. Alright, let's get to it. Okay, so I finished configuring the cameras, and now they're set for you to broadcast yourself in front of your boss. Actually, in addition, you guys can even hear him speak towards you guys, so I guess that'll save us some more time, but... Anyways, let's just get on with it. Hurry up. Press record. Alright, alright, I'll do it, and uh... Alright, you guys are on. Hurry! 
Oh, well, hello there, boss. As you can see, that we're all working very smoothly over here. All the reparations in the racetrack have almost been finished. Yeah, so can we go back to Thunder Hollow now? We already finished the job. Yeah, it already took a year for it to be finished, so we'd really have to go back home and get our paycheck, and then we'll be fine, right? Miss Fritter, wow, I just have to say that you guys are doing a very nice job on the reparations of the racetrack, and I think that you guys are doing a very swell job at it, too. However, you guys really think that this is the end? No, you guys have way, way more to do. Wait, what? No, we, we've been working on this for over a year. What do you mean we're still not done? Well, I mean that you guys are still not done. You guys are still missing a lot of new things we have to implement. Wait a minute. What more can we put into this racetrack? We put in everything. We put in our best effort. What else can we put into it? Well, for starters, since more fans equal more business for the Piston Cup, we can always add more space to the fan booth. Oh, and add more space to the pit rows as well. Wait a minute, but you told us that you wanted those exact dimensions right when we first started this project. You can't just change the rules. Well, I am your boss, and you guys have to agree with whatever I say. So I decided that I wanted to change the rules and kind of add more space to it. We need everything to be way, way bigger than it is right now. If you don't comply with them, then you won't get your paycheck. But wait, there's still more that we have to ask you. Sorry, I only have a limited amount of time to talk with you guys. This is your boss, over and out. Oh, no, wait. Oh, man, he cut off his communicator. Oh, man, we have to stay here for another year. This is going to take forever. We'll never get paid by then. Oh, yeah, I mean, the contenders are not going to be happy with what we have to tell them. Oh, man, I guess things aren't going fine at all. Yeah, but I mean, we're better off than everyone else right now, right? Maybe. Who knows? Whew. All right. Finally here. Now I gotta go tell Tex what's going on. Uh, uh, uh. Name, please. Oh, come on, guys. You already know who I am. Yeah, we're just messing with you. Come on right in. Yeah, enjoy the show. <laughs> Thanks. Ah, Tex. It's such a relief to see you again. Wait, what? Shrimp. Hey, everyone! The king is here! The king is here! Yeah, all right, let's go, let's go, guys! Woohoo! Yeah, the king, the king! Ooh, hello, Mr. King. Yes, hello. Huh? Oh, no, no, Tex, not now! Hey, king, it's your old crew chief, Roger, remember? Yeah, hi, Roger, but not now, where's Cal? Well, now, why would I be worried about Cal when I have you here? Come on, he's just a joke compared to you. Everyone, remember, the king is here! Come over here to the booth! Oh, King, it's been so long. Yeah, working with Cal is the worst. Yeah, he's such a horrible racer. Yeah, boo, Cal. Come on, not right now, guys. Great, I, I appreciate it, but... Tex, where is Cal? Have you not heard about all the commotions going down the racetrack? Listen, Strip, I really think you should calm down. Yeah, what's going on, man? What's got you troubled? Yeah, why all of a sudden do you care about Cal so much? I mean, I know you're his crew chief and all, and he's your racer, but still, I mean, it's just Cal at the end of the day. Oh, right. You weren't there. Of course you weren't. The one time we needed you, Tex. You weren't there. Of course. Well, anyways, to fill you all in, there was a group of cars who just took over our racetrack. The one we used for the Clash of the Piston Cup. And now we're all broken down. We have nothing now. Chick can't stop him. Natalie can't stop him. And now I just ran away so I can tell you about the problem. And now I need to know where Cal is because I think he's gone missing. <sighs> Excuse me down there, fellas. Oh, all right, sorry, sorry. Listen, Strip, you sound crazy right now, I'm sorry. I mean, a group of cars taking over a racetrack, do you know how crazy that sounds? Doesn't Chick have his own team? Yes, but they're more worried about saving their own lives than saving the racetrack. You honestly think that they will work for him that well? No, they wouldn't. They just ran away, everyone ran away, even I did. I'm trying to come to you, but honestly, I'm even scared of them. So that's why you held off telling me for over a year. Listen, that's not important right now, Tex. Right now, we need to worry about where Cal is. I'm honestly really scared for him right now, because you know how he is. He won't survive out there. And we need to work together right now. I'm, I didn't tell you for that long because, you know, I was scared as well. I, I, I didn't, I didn't know how to do it. And I thought that our forces, your forces actually, wouldn't be enough to stop them. They're really crazy, man. They, they destroyed whatever we loved and I wish you were there to see it. I'm, I'm sorry if I sound a little dramatic there, but I'm, I'm just really worried right now, Tex. And now I, I think you know the situation right now. So hopefully you come and help. If not, then I'll just go on my own. I'm sorry, Tex. Now hold on there, boy. Huh? 
Listen, of course I'm going to help you. I mean, you helped Dinoco for over decades. Now all we need to do is find where Cal is, call up my forces, and take that track back. Gee, thanks, Tex. But actually, I have one last thing that you need to do. I see the exit! Hold on! I'm, I'm out! I, I'm free! I'm free! Woohoo! Woohoo! I'm free! I'm free! Bruce! Bruce! You did it, you genius! You found the way out! Why, I'm glad you noticed, McQueen! Hey, why are you trying to hug all the glory, huh? We all had a party trying to find the way out. Oh, hey, Bobby! Why, I oughta... Easy, easy, Bobby. Let it go. Aw, oh, man. <sighs> hey, are we late? Yeah, are we late to the party? And I'm here too, man. Alright, guys, relax. We have more important issues to settle here right now. Ugh, fine, you're right. But what are we supposed to do right now? Hmm, well first of all, we need to get in contact with my friends, Mater, Sally, Luigi, and Guido. Yeah, they should be around here. I don't know where they are, though. They didn't meet us up here, so who knows where they are right now? Hmm, okay. I have an idea. Alright, spit it out, Rev. Okay, listen, how about me, uh, Dino? Huh? Oh, okay. And Marcus. Alright, sweet. I get to be with you. Okay, uh, how about me, Marcus, and Dino go look out for Mater, Sally, and Luigi and Guido back here while you guys go and head to the Piston Cup track to see what's going on? Huh, I really like that idea, actually. Yep, me too. Yep, me three. And yep, me four. No one cares right now, bros. Aww. Alright then, so I guess we should go right now, McQueen, right? Actually, hold on a bit. Huh, what? Yeah, what do you mean by hold on? The sooner we get finished with this, the sooner we finish with all of our troubles and finally get to go back home, McQueen. Come on. Okay, listen, guys. It's very complicated, but I think I may have an idea. Uh, okay, I, I, I don't have the time right now to explain, but just hear me out right now. All right, so, Bruce, you're going with Carl, Bobby, and Speedy to the Piston Cup track to get any updates on what's going on there and anything that we can use against them. And of course, like Rev said, Rev, Dino, and Marcus, you guys staying here and waiting for Mater, Luigi, and Guido, and Sally. And then I'm gonna go on my own and do my own thing. I know what I'm doing and it's gonna be for the benefit of all of us, so trust me when I say this. Just do what I say now, please. McQueen, this sounds ridiculous. Yeah, why don't you need us anymore? We helped you all the way through, McQueen. I know, it's really complicated to explain, but I have to go now before it's too late. I'll meet you guys in the Pissing Cup track. Trust me, just go there, okay? <sighs> All right, Bobby, Carl, and Speedy, come along with me. We have to get there as soon as possible. And since when are you the boss? Well, we're not discussing that right now, okay? I I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean... Okay, no, I have a better plan. Carl, Bruce, Speedy, come along with me. We have to get there as soon as possible, so that way we can get the most recent updates from the track. That is literally what I just said. All right, whatever, let's just go. <laughs> Time to call up a couple of old friends. Um, Fritter? Yeah, Roscoe? I'm not the only one nervous about this, right? <sighs> no, you aren't. Hey, look everyone, it's Fritter! She's up there! Woohoo! Yeah, Miss Fritter! You rock! Woohoo! Yeah, Miss Fritter! Please tell us that you have important news! Please tell us that we're gonna go back to Thunder Hollow! Come on, we've been waiting for so long! Yeah, we wanna go back already! Come on, we have to go back! Tires crossed that we're going back to Thunder Hollow, guys! Yeah, come on! Woo! Woo! I'm so excited! After so much hard work, we're finally going home! Yes, please! We have to go home. We have to go home. We must. Uh, dang it. No, guys. We're not going home. We still have more work to do. Huh? Wait, I thought we were almost done. Yeah, what? What happened? I, I don't get it. No, we must go home. We need to go home. Please, don't tell us that we have to stay here again. Not for another year. No, we won't have it. I mean, no, we're not going. I'm so sorry to tell you all. I'm, I'm disappointed in myself too. But Fritter, why? What did our boss say? 
All right. Listen, we've stuck through the hardest of times ever since we first started rebuilding this racetrack to its former glory. And I know it's going to be hard to keep on doing more and more reparations to this racetrack every single time that our boss gives it an update. But we have to stick through together. It may take another year, but so what? We can still do it, guys. I know we can because we poured our hearts into this project. And I know that we're going to make our boss proud. Trust me, guys. We have to just stick together after all this. Come on. Please try and join us and understand that we don't always get to do what we want. We have to stay together to the very end. Please. Well, then, I'm sorry, Miss Fritter. I know I've been loyal to you for a long, long time now. So have all of us. But I think I'm going to be the first one to go. I'm sorry. Wait, no, broadside, don't leave. I'm sorry. Well, we tried. Come on, guys, I'm not gonna stay here for any longer. Hup. Oh, wait for me, hit. Uh, yeah, I'm gone too. No, don't leave, stop leaving, please. I need the most help I can get. Choop, choop, choop. Well, I had enough. Me too. Hey, me three. <laughs> Eh, I'm trying to run away, but I really can't. Miss Fitter, don't worry, you still have us. Yeah, not all hope is lost. Come on, we can still do it. I know, but this is all my fault. I don't know, I thought it would be nice just to tell everyone about the truth of what's been going on. No. <sighs> I hate to say it, but our boss doesn't deserve our help. I mean, look at us, we've been working 24-7 for over a year now. For what? Just to work another year? And maybe even make more reparations after that? Yeah! He has a point. We can't be doing this forever, you know, but... Uh, maybe we have some hope and it may stop in the future. Yeah. But for now, if we want to get paid and get paid for all of our effort that we put into this racetrack for over a year, we still gotta get to work. Alright, on it! <clears throat> yep, I'll get onto it. <clears throat> Just let us know what you need us to do. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna go and file some reports for the contenders uh, so they know what to actually rebuild. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to do that right now. So I'll see you later. <sighs> Can't you believe it? Huh? Believe what? <sighs> that we've been working on this racetrack for so long and we haven't even been discovered by the officials yet. Well, of course, because it's Chick's track, you know. No one really cares about him. I guess after he pulled that stunt at the Piston Cup. Well, hopefully it'll still stay that way. Oh, no. I just had a really bad thought. Wait, uh, what is it? See? Hey, look, I can see them in the distance. I, you sure? It looks like a different car. I don't know, but I think I see someone. Wait, you guys aren't McQueen. Yeah, where's McQueen? You guys must know where he is. Huh? McQueen's not here. Of course he is. This is where the signal came from, right? <laughs> Wait a minute, what? No, what, why are these guys here? Uh, shouldn't McQueen be inside that cave? That's what we're trying to say, boss. Maybe the signal was wrong? No, no, the signal was definitely right. Tex, are, are you sure there's no mistake? Yes, I'm, I'm positive. Th this is where the signal came from, right? These guys must be holding McQueen hostage. Arrest them. All right, you're coming with us for further investigation. No, wait, no. McQueen's not here because he left the cave. Yeah, we don't have anything to do with this. We helped him get out. No, there, there's no way that you guys helped him get out. You guys didn't even find him. Uh, yes, we did. We checked the signal just like you guys did. Then where is he right now? We, we don't know. He didn't tell us. They're lying. Arrest them now. Stop. You mess with my friends, buddies. You're messing with me. Oh, wait a minute. That voice sounds familiar. Yeah. Who is that? Show yourself. Woohoo! Hello, my name's Mater. Or Toe Mater, but without the toe. <laughs> hey, Mater, it's us. The King and Tex. Uh, the one who gave you a lift on that helicopter. Oh, right, that helicopter was such much fun. Oh, my God, that was really nice. I, I, thank you so much, but what are you guys doing here? Mater, they've been doing the same thing that we're doing. They're trying to find McQueen. Oh, you're trying to help my best buddy? He's been gone missing. Uh, yeah, that's why we're here. We located the signal, and we tracked it to this cave. Huh, that's funny. We did, too, and we were supposed to meet up with some cars. Do you know where they are? Uh-oh, uh... Stop resisting, or else you face severe punishment. No, please, we didn't do anything wrong. I don't want to go to jail. Nope, sorry, it's the law. Eh, get your dirty tires off of me. No, stop resisting, get back. Stop all of you, now. 
It's a misunderstanding. They were actually trying to save McQueen, not kidnap him. Ha! See? It's a misunderstanding, so get out of here. Uh, so what's the explanation for this text? It's complicated, but I'll explain it all very, very soon. Well, I severely apologize and no, no, no apology needed. You're cool. It's this guy who was being really rough. Hey, he was the one touching you. Yeah, but he didn't go all rough on me like you did. Easy, guys, easy. Hello, do you guys know where McQueen is? Shut up! Uh, how rude. All right, Guido, come out. Do, 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 do. Beat stop now. Ah, he got a drill gun. Let's get out of here. Ah, no, my only weakness. Come back. <sighs> really? Did you really have to do that? Yes, it was a scary situation. Beat stop. <laughs> Ew. Ugh. Where are my friends? Same as Strip. Yeah, you're, you're really smart, right? You can deal with a drill gun, right? Yeah, we were never trained, but you guys are... Whatever. You guys are such wimps. Anyways, what's going... Wait a minute. Did they say... Strip, it's the king. The king is here. Hey, that's my line. Uh, beat stop? No, no pit stops. Explain what's going on now. Well, see, we were separated from Mater and Sally, and we're just really scared. We just followed the signal here, and hold on. Mater and Sally? We know where they are. Yeah, I just saw them tending to the stock cars down there. I'll get them over here. All right, just give me a second. Oh, thank you all so much. Beat stop. Is that all you have to say? Beat stop. All right, buddies, friends, are you guys okay? Yeah, we're fine. Thanks for asking, Mater. Yeah, I mean, they can use a lot of brute force on us, but we'll still get over it. Ah, don't worry. Those security guards are just the worst. Hey, who's talking about my security guards? They're pretty cool people, right? Yeah, please don't talk bad about my staff, but... Anyways, uh, there's two people who are here for both of you, Luigi and Guido. Luigi, Guido, they made it! They used a signal and found their way here, yes! Alright, let's go see them. Uh, actually, they're coming over here with, uh, the king and everyone. Alright, I guess we can talk from here. Alright, uh, okay, uh, you guys can let me go now. Oh yeah, uh, sorry boss, uh, yeah, sorry. Anyways, uh, hello Miss Sally, hello Tomator. Actually, it's just Mater, but all right, all right. Uh, Luigi and Guido, you guys can come up now. Oh my god, Sally, you guys are here. Beat stop! Seriously, you have to teach him some new words. Yes, we know, but uh, anyways, so uh, what's the plan now? <sighs> okay, so excuse me, Mater. Oh, okay, sorry. Okay, anyways, uh, so basically now McQueen told us that once everyone gathered up together, we all had to head out to the stadium, and then we have to... You know, confront those who took over the stadium from us. Uh, anyways, Tex, I think you're all informed, right? Uh, yep, Strip told me everything. Okay, so that's good, good. Um, I mean, you even have more backups since we have security guards. That's, that's great. Okay, uh, McQueen told us to meet up there, so, I mean, what are we waiting for now? Yeah, so I guess we shouldn't waste any more time. Let's get out of here, guys. <laughs> Bye, buddies, friends. We'll see you in there. <laughs> oh my god, we're gonna see McQueen again. Can't you believe it, Guido? Paparazzi. <sighs> Whatever, let's just go. <sniffs> Alright, so we know the drill. We'll meet you up there when we can. Alright, thanks so much. And don't worry about what happened before. I mean, it was just a misunderstanding and yeah, yeah, alright. We get it now. Just go, go. We'll meet up with you. Okay, let's go, guys. <sniffs> wow, things got a lot more serious all of a sudden. Yeah. Those Thunder Hollow cars will know what hit them. Uh, boss, you you saw the broadcast, right? Yeah, they didn't really want to do the repairs anymore. They aren't as motivated, and soon enough they'll they'll rebel. Yeah, what are you supposed to? Silence. We knew this day would come. All right, grab my headset. I'm making a visit. All right, guys, all the assignments have been given out. Let's go. All right, you guys heard the boss. Let's go. Gosh dang it. What happened? Broadcast at the cameras. We can't contact them anymore. We can't contact our boss. Oh, we're going to be stuck here forever, Fritter. This was a horrible decision. I know, but what other choice do we have? <sighs> Let's just get to work, Roscoe, and try and forget about all this. Uh... Uh, are you kidding me? I'm the last one to leave the stadium. Uh, it's because of this stupid wheel thing. I can't roll well. Uh... All right, we're here. Okay, we have to talk as quietly as possible. All right, it seems like they're working on the wall 
clouds right now. So that means that this is our perfect time to actually attack or learn some more information about them. Learn some more information about who? Duh! Huh? Who is that? Sounded like a tow truck? Hmm. Shh. What was that? What, what are you doing here? Mater? Oh my god, Mater. I'm so sorry about this, guys. Mater, you shouldn't have done that. You could have given away a position. Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Sally. I'm just so excited. Where's my buddy? Yes, what is my... Shh, shh, keep your voice down. Paparazzi McQueen. Oh, oh, you're asking for McQueen? Well, honestly, we have no idea where he is either. Yeah, we told him to come with us, but he didn't want to. Uh, that's so typical of McQueen. He wants to do his own thing. Say, where are the other stock cars that are supposed to be with you? Well, they're supposed to be behind us, but we don't know where they are. Trust me when I say that they were right behind this one. Hey! Hey! Eh, sorry about that. Uh, huh? Eh, there we go. Hey! What are you guys doing here? This is Thunder Hollow property. Why are you whispering? Well, uh... Okay. Alright, you want me to talk? Yeah, I can talk. Shh, no, 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 you can talk. You can just... Lower your voice, lower your voice, lower your voice. Shay, you wouldn't know where my best friend is, right? Yeah, do you know where McQueen is? No, we don't know where McQueen is. Uh, anyways, no, I'm not going to snitch on you. Don't worry about it. But just be careful, okay? Wait, why aren't you going to switch it? Oh, you want me to snitch on you guys? Hey, everyone, look who's over here. Some cars, a rusty tow truck, and some Porsche. Hey, I'm not some Porsche. Sh Sally, keep your voice down. No, shut up. Oh, uh, what the T-bone? I thought he left already. Doesn't matter, Fritter. There's an intruder. Let's go, go, go. All right, everyone, over here to the entrance. Oh, great. Now you see what you did? Yeah, come on. Seriously, you guys are blaming him? You guys are the one who started to open your mouth? Yeah, no. It was no. No, shut up. Hey, hey, I always want to find my buddy. No, listen, I'm going to go, but, like, you guys are going to be in trouble. Ha, 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 ha. Uh-oh. I already hear them coming. All right, we're here. Uh-oh, they're in trouble. No, wait, hold off. We need to make a scene. No, but McQueen, no. Remember the plan. Stick to the plan, okay? Just hold off on calling them right now. Okay, whatever you say. <laughs> you guys are cornered. <laughs> no chance of escaping. None. We got you surrounded. <laughs> Guido, the drill. <laughs> ha, you think that drill gun scares us? It doesn't scare us in the slightest. Uh oh. <laughs> Alright, guys. Show them what you're made of. Now, hold on there, school bus of death. Huh? Who has the nerve to tell me that I'm the school bus? Oh, I see. I like that ring to it. Yeah, I do too. Enough! You are coming with us. Yup, the feds are here, aren't they? Woohoo! You guys are in so much trouble. Ha <laughs> ha! Nowhere to run now, huh? Oh no! Everyone for themselves! Get out of here! Run before they catch you! Ha <laughs> ha! We got him! We got him! Oh no! Get out! Hurry! Run! Run! Uh, we don't want to go to jail! We don't want to get caught! Uh, I wonder what all the ruckus about. Hey! Get out of the way! Get out of the way! You almost hit me! Watch it! Uh, what's going on? Yes! They did it! Alright! Nice! Okay, so now you can call them up. All right, okay, everything's working just as planned. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Daryl, I just got the call. Let's go. <laughs> finally, we did it. We finally can put the situation to rest. Nice job, Shrift. All right, so tell me once and for all, where is my best friend? We have no idea. He went away after everyone left the first time we came here. Yeah, we literally have no idea where McQueen is. Stop pushing. I'm sorry, but yeah, we have no idea where McQueen is. I'm sorry. Well, I know where I am. Huh? Wait, that's McQueen. McQueen, where are you? McQueen, 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 McQueen. McQueen, best buddy, where are you? Show yourself, please. Don't worry, guys. I'm all right. And by the way, Miss Fitter, thanks to Jeff Corvette right here, I'm going to give Thunder Hollow some much needed exposure. Oh, guys. <laughs> All right, Miss Fritter, you're being broadcast to all RSN channels right now. Do you want to say anything before you face severe jail time? Okay, listen, I was just taking an order from my boss, and Thunder Hollow really needed the money for reparations and everything. Hold on, boss? Yeah, boss, I thought you were the boss. No, I was never the boss. I was just taking orders from someone else. But who is that someone else? Can you disclose their name? No, I won't. I won't do that. All right, all right, that's it. No more. I'm not running away from my problems anymore. Miss Fritter, Roscoe, 
I am your boss. What? What What are you talking about? Yeah, you don't sound anything. It's this guy's voice, of course. Oh, she didn't want them dish cash voice. Shut up, tow truck. Wait a minute, so that means that you were the spy all along. Yup, McQueen, you found me out. Woohoo. Anyways, let me explain my reasoning before I actually get sent away. The Clash of the Piston Cup was something that I thought of alongside Natalie Stern, who co-hosted it alongside me when we were doing it. And we were given a limited budget by the network, so it didn't really work out that well, as you can see. However, since episode 2, our ratings went severely down the drain, and basically we didn't have any more funds to fund episode 3, and so with the little money that I had left, I decided to hire these guys in order to destroy the track. Basically, one big kaboom, and a goodbye to the Clash of the Fist and Cup. I knew that Natalie would never accept it, so I talked to these guys in the disguised voice through a speaker, and basically, bam, you have episode 3 with the destruction of the track, and then our ratings did go up quite a bit, but the budget stayed the same, and in the end, we didn't have enough to fund an episode 4. So then, here we are. Now I needed a rebuilt racetrack, so that's when I hired these guys to rebuild the racetrack for me, and yada yada yada, now we are here. The reparations were the only thing that could save the Clash of the Vincent Cup from ending, but unfortunately I see that that is not the case. The feds have caught up, and now these guys are probably going to do some jail time. Oh, shut up! Uh, I'm so mad at you! Why? You knew what this would happen! Yes, I did, which is why now I know that I need to turn myself in. I, I know this is probably last minute, but I guess I have to do it. So to everyone in the RSN, I officially resign, at least for now, uh, from the RSN duties in order to spend some time rethinking what I've done. And yeah, I guess that's all from me. Wow, shocking. So you were actually the mastermind behind all this. Yup, that was me. Uh, Tex? Yeah, King? You know what's right. All right. Guards released them. They are not responsible for what happened. It was all a scheme by Chick. I don't think that they deserve to go to jail any more than Chick does. Yeah, woohoo! All right, we got free publicity and we got to go home. See you, suckers! Woohoo! And Chick, I hope you rot in jail. Woohoo! Thunder Hollow forever! And there you have it. Chick's scheme has been foiled once again by McQueen and his friends. And honestly, it wasn't really that hard. Do you think that it was really that hard to outfool you, Chick, after what you did to the king? You guys still hasn't gone over that? Come on! Ah, uh, whatever. But just know this. No one came for your track. No one came because it was your show. Everyone came for the race to participate in. Oh yeah, speaking about that. <sighs> Let me have one last final saying to McQueen. McQueen, when I'm out of here, I'm gonna race you, and I'm gonna beat you, and you're gonna eat my dust! Huh, try saying that five times fast. Eat my dust, eat my dust, eat my dust! Uh, boss, here's your I don't need it no more! Woohoo! Huh, he's actually gone insane. I guess we're free! Tag your it. Hey! <laughs> Great idea, Jeff, to get the media involved. That was perfect! You nailed it! Nice job! Huh, thanks, McQueen. But remember, I'm the one who came up with the plan. Just keep that in mind for next time that you need me. Yeah, yeah, just head home. All right. Later, McQueen. Later, Jeff. <sighs> yes, best buddy. Woohoo! You're back. You're back. I was never gone, Mater. Don't worry. I'll always be here with you. All right, but what's going to happen to Clash of the Pissing Cup? Yeah, with Chick gone, who's going to host it? Actually, huh? You know, we've hosted the RSM for such a long time. I mean, this wouldn't be a bad thing to add on to that. Yeah, and I want to get more into that racing action. Yeah! So, we're both willing. What do you say, McQueen? Would you let us join? And in addition, I think since these guys did such a heroic act for you, they all deserve to get into Clash with the Fisting Cup as well. You're serious, right? McQueen, you have to say yes now. Yeah, buddy, just say yes. Hmm... Alright, sure, why not? Then it's settled. Me and Daryl Cartrip are both the new hosts of the Clash with the Fisting Cup. I'll be personally filling up all the races right now as we speak, so give me a second right here. In addition, I think it's really fair that all these stock cars, including McQueen behind me, all get immunity for all the hard effort that they did to get back the track. Anyways, I hope you guys stay tuned for some more Clash of the Piston Cup racing action. And this is your host, uh, Bob Cutlass and Daryl. Okay, I need to find Daryl. Alright, well, I'll see you later, McQueen. I'll give you some more updates on 
what's going on in the future, and I need to find Daryl. See ya. <laughs> oh, and McQueen, it was nice to meet you again. Uh, I don't think they ever met. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I'm glad to see you back, buddy. Hey, stickers. This is the start of a new racing era for you, isn't it? Yeah, and for all of us, isn't it? Yeah, McQueen, this is gonna be amazing. Pit stop? Yes, Guido. A bunch of pit stops. A bunch. Oh, McQueen, it's so nice to see you again. Woohoo! Everything's back on track. It's alright, don't worry about it, I understand. It's okay, take your time off. Alright, see ya. Hey, what happened out there? Yeah, don't catch it off guard like that. I'm sorry, guys. It's just, I've been contacting the racers right now, and... Well, I have some mediocre news. Well, what are you waiting for? Spill it out. Alright, well, racers Walter Carton and Bullseye, uh, the Walmart and Target Scott cars, respectively, have officially resigned from the Clash for the Piston Cup. Oh wait, how's that bad news? That's fine. I mean, we've had a bunch of time off, so might as well eliminate some contestants here and there. Wait, but no, you don't understand- Hey, guys! Huh? Y'all know where Cal is? I mean, you contacted all the stock cars, right? Oh, uh, <laughs> funny fact here, actually. Uh, well, you see, Cal responded and- Well, wait, he responded? Tell me where he is! Uh, you're not gonna like it. He was partying with some stock cars and got lost. But he's coming back here, don't worry. That little! Oh jeez, alright, let's just stop right there. Strip! Restrain yourself! The camera's still rolling! Ah, oh, shoot. Well then, might as well do the outro by myself since Daryl's kind of occupied at the moment. So there you have it, Piston Cup fans. A conclusive ending to the massive ordeal at the track. Currently on your screen are the erasers up for elimination, and the rules have not changed at all. Only one vote per person. And remember to place the racer's name and number when casting your vote, or else your vote won't count. That is really all I have to say here. So I hope you all did enjoy this presentation. Voting ends June 19 of 2019. This is Bob Cutlass signing off. See you all next time.